We are so excited to welcome you all here today to the Lakersham Art Center. Um, to begin, I want to first by, by doing a few thank yous. So I would first like to thank council member Paul Krikorian for, and his staff for all that they have done and for their continuing support and dedication to the city's arts and culture and particularly as partners in tonight's celebration of the reopening, renovation, and reactivation of the Lancashire Arts Center for the NoHo Arts community and the entire city of Los Angeles. I also want to give a thanks to the city's Department of General Services and the Bureau of Engineering for all their work that they've done to support, to support our Performing Arts Center here and their ongoing assistance as we further built out our space. We've been able to accomplish a whole lot of improvement here at the Lancashire Art Center, including the mechanical and electrical systems and a lot of structural work that we can't see, but it really needed to be completed for the city to be able to reopen and reactivate the center. And thank you again to Council Member Krikorian for helping to secure those funds to perform this work. So this is a first step, as Nikki said, of a, of a soft opening. So renovations are going to continue for some time, and we thank you for your patience as we complete this process of really improving the center into what will be a world-class center um, while we concurrently are doing our programming as well. So thank you to, again, thank you to the council, for the council members' commitment to the NoHo Arts District and to DCA's Performing Arts Program is thrilled to start reactivating the space into what's going to become a multidisciplinary art center featuring live events, workshops, music, dance, theater, and performing and visual arts, as well as film and media presentations. The reactivation of the center will provide the community with many new enriching and participatory events and experiences, as well as creative development opportunities for our artists. We're really excited also tonight to begin the programming here at the center. The gallery is open and our reactivations are, are beginning. I'd like to recognize our folks that are here with us tonight. I'd like to recognize Deaf West. <laughs> the Turbine Arts Collective. <laughs> the Lee Pertel Ballet Company. <laughs> and Focus Fish. all of whom we'll see more from soon. So we know that many of you here are interested tonight in getting more involved with the city and want to be, we want to be able to help facilitate that. And whether it's through the Department of Cultural Affairs mural program, our grants program, or any of our public arts programs or performing arts programs, we've got, we've got huge opportunities for you. And we'll talk more about that a little bit later. So lastly, I just want to also just send, give a, uh, I let everybody know we also send out a monthly newsletter that highlights these opportunities and others at all as well for ways to get involved. So we thank you tonight for joining us at this open house and welcome you to engage further in our programs here that we'll be offering at the Lancashire Arts Center in the future. And now it gives me great, great honor to introduce our next speaker, Council Member Krikorian, who's been such a huge supporter of the arts and the Department of Cultural Affairs. Just <laughs> Thank you very much, Daniel, and uh, thank you to all the men and women of the Department of Cultural Affairs. Um, you know, I, I happen to be the budget chair for the City Council, and the Department of Cultural Affairs is one of our least funded departments uh, from which we get some of the greatest benefits. So I just want to thank all the men and women who make that possible for Angelinos across our city, uh, because this is a city that in many ways was built. Uh, on the arts and on culture, and um, we want to make sure that we never lose that. Uh, and we, we don't, um, and DCA is there to make sure that we don't. Um, and similarly, we want to make really sure that the NoHo Arts District always stays an arts district. And that's why it's so important that you're all here today. So I want to thank everybody for joining us for this really important moment in uh, the recent history of, of NoHo. Um, this building has been here for 83 years. Uh, the last 
30 of which it has been uh, the Lancashire Art Center. Uh, previously in its uh, earlier life, as you noticed from the inlay on the entranceway here, uh, it was a Department of Water and Power Customer Service Center, even before there was an actual Department of Water and Power. So uh, there's a long Los Angeles heritage and history in this building. Um, and what we're embarking upon today is really building the next chapter of Los Angeles's heritage. And um, ensuring that young people like uh, these folks who are standing right up here in front will have an opportunity to come in here and take advantage of uh, classes and performance opportunities and interacting with professional artists and, and ha having after school programming that's arts focused and in so many other ways um, enriching their lives and by enriching their lives we enrich this entire community and build a stronger future for the arts in Los Angeles. So all of that is going to be made possible by the center that you're standing in uh, right now. Uh, we've waited a long time for this moment to happen and uh, I do want to thank all of our city staff starting with DCA and with General Services and the Bureau of Engineering uh, and everyone else who, who participated in this and of course uh, my staff members who oversaw this whole project starting with Jackie Keene and Cairo Rodriguez here who really helped to move this project uh, forward. This is, as I say, this is an 83-year-old building. So in order to make it something that's usable for people and that we want to invite the public into and that we want to have classes in, you could imagine it needed a fair amount of work. So whether it's electrical work or plumbing or just the basic sort of physical plant stuff, there was a lot to do. Um, and what you see before us is the end result of about $600,000 uh, worth of work. Um, so I'm really pleased that we're here. Going forward, we're going to be having low-cost family and youth program, pro programming here that's going to be open to the public. We'll have creative space for artists to utilize for displays, classes, studios, exhibitions, and so forth. It will be a gathering place, I hope, uh, for the arts community who come here, a welcoming place uh, to attend uh, workshops and lectures and displays, evening receptions, that sort of thing. We'll have theater and dance workshops uh, and of course uh, maybe most of, important of all to me is the after school programming that we'll have uh, for, our, uh, for our young folks here in NoHo. Um, it, I really hope that you will make this into your community arts hub and that this will be the opportunity for all of us uh, to come together uh, around the arts in North Hollywood. Um, I, you know, there's a lot going on in NoHo in terms of its revitalization. These have been a very, very tough couple of years for everybody. Uh, they've been especially tough on the arts community. Uh, and, um, you know, we, we have done a lot to try to throw the life preserver out, especially the performing arts when venues were all shuttered here. Um, and I think what, one of the things that we saw during COVID was when, um, when the arts are not here, this becomes a, a, a very different kind of community. Um, sure, we still have vibrant restaurants and nightlife and so on, but when we don't have the arts active and engaged and inviting people into this community, it fundamentally changes the character of, of this neighborhood in a way that's, uh, that we don't want to see happen uh, in the future. So now that we've got COVID past us, uh, we're going to make sure that we don't go back to those days and that we continue to encourage a vibrant arts community here. Um, so I, I want to recognize a couple of people who are here who've actually done a lot uh, to make sure that North Hollywood remains uh, the art center of the San Fernando Valley, if not the city as well. Uh, a, a few people who have really, um, with their own work, uh, enriched our community. And I, I want to start with Ernie Merlin of Muralism. Um, raise your hand, Ernie. So Ernie, Ernie uh, has been a longtime partner of our office, has helped to create some of the great 
murals that we have uh, throughout the East San Fernando Valley and through his organization Muralism, he's given young people an opportunity to find themselves through the arts and, and participate in, in the incredible murals that we have. Um, we started working together with the great um, vintage North Hollywood mural that you see alongside the 170, that huge mural. That was Ernie and Levi Ponce who put that together with you know lots and lots of young people who were volunteering. Um, and uh, we've worked with Ernie recently uh, on finding a permanent home for the mural panels that were commissioned early in 2000 uh, for the NoHo Arts District when the district was just starting. And I'm very pleased to say that we now have a permanent home uh, for those panels at the Weddington House Garden, at the garden of the oldest house in North Hollywood uh, that was brought here uh, when Mr. Weddington founded uh, the predecessor of North Hollywood back uh, in the late 19th century. So it's now a beautiful display space and this garden will be the permanent home for, uh, for those um, for those panels. So I want to thank Ernie for all of his uh, partnership and what he does for all of the young people of this area. Um, he's also currently working on a proposal for a mural on the back of our fire station, Fire Station 60, uh, that will celebrate uh, Tongva culture uh, on the back of the fire station. So I'm really looking forward to seeing that as well. Um, I also uh, want to recognize uh, Paul Juno, um, who's worked on uh, many projects around North Hollywood. Raise your hand, Paul. So you, you might have seen um, some of the what previously were ugly, gray, usually graffiti-laden utility boxes on our sidewalks throughout where, you know, a previous generation of urban planners decided to just stick that utility box right in the middle of the sidewalk uh, to become a billboard for graffiti uh, vandalism. Well, um, Paul and other artists have taken those boxes and transformed them into public art. And um, you've probably, if you haven't met him already, you've probably seen Paul's uh, art in our community and also on social media where he has a lot of fans who spread it around. Uh, and so I just want to thank uh, Paul very much for the work that you're doing uh, in that way as well. So um, I, I just, I think, I, I, there's lots of more here that I, I could talk about, but um, I think I can just sum it up with this. Uh, North Hollywood has gone through a lot of ups and downs over the last 40 or 50 years. Um, since redevelopment, since the creation of the Arts District, um, this has been a very exciting vibrant place. This has been a place that's been a destination for people throughout Los Angeles and, and really throughout the country uh, to come to, to experience uh, the arts. And although the last couple of years have been really tough and it's been very hard to maintain that, um, that sense here, uh, I think your being here today and our soft opening of this facility uh, as well as the other things that we have coming up. We just got finished with uh, NoHo Day. Uh, this summer we'll be having the, the NoHo uh, Summer Nights Performing Arts uh, in North Hollywood Park. With all of this going on, I think it's safe to say that the NoHo Arts District is back and uh, you're gonna continue to make it so. So thank you all very, very much. Thank you, council member. It's really a pleasure to have you here, and I am delighted to be um, heading up the performing arts right now and able to take advantage of your generosity and your commitment to the arts in all its forms. So again, thank you very much. Thank you.